Hi right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're on vlog 10 now. Um, this is hopefully going to be a couple of couple of parts. We're actually heading to Rally du Maroc. Dad in shot there. We are... Are we loaded? Mm, as best as, we're going to be. As best we're going to be. Uh, you wanted to be leaving at 12 o'clock. It's now 5... Pa well, you did say originally morning. Yeah. Then we've got to leave by 12. It's now 5 past 12. So we're going to... We are loaded i'll do a little bit of a walk around in the truck so the plan is that a me and quick walk around quick walk around, yeah me and dad are going to leave now we're going to meet dave en route down to the port uh craig you're going to be flying out i'm flying out on tuesday yeah tuesday so i'll be arriving in agadir airport at 6 30 in the yeah. evening so i should be it's an half hour drive from the airport to the the stadium so i'll be with you at seven hopefully nice all being well yeah, so we're heading now Portsmouth, then Santander. The, the ferry times have changed there, so I'm not exactly sure what time we're going to arrive in Spain. Then drive down through Spain, and then into Morocco, down to Agadir, and to Agadir Stadium where it's all happening. So, yeah, we'll do a bit of a vlog, keep you updated, and, yeah, catch you a bit. See you out there. I did want to do a walk through the truck, but um, with all the kit that we've got in here, it's a bit of a struggle to be fair. But I'll go through into the garage and do a film through there as well. There's the shower, also full of kit. Cooking station, fridge. And there's the bunk beds. Me and Craig will be in here. So this is garage side. We are absolutely rammed there's the living quarters in there taking a couple of bikes to maybe ride around the bivouac dad's been on this truck for probably the last three weeks three weeks do you reckon on and off making shelves and getting it all ready so it's all good to go bike mounts are all in bikes are solid wall of tires there that are all just strapped to the wall Gazebo parts, bike stands, everything. We've got it all in here, hopefully. Hopefully. The old truck's been getting a bit of attention on the social media posts. Your rig. Absolute monster of a thing. So just to do a quick video in the cab. So basically the cab has got, is a double sleeper as well, but we've had a seat put in that's folded up there. So it's a three seater. And then dad's bed for the duration is gonna be up there. So I don't know, how are you getting up into your bed? Dad, how are you getting up into your bed? I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> you might have to give me a <laughs> Narrow. So yeah, he's got a bit of a jump up into, up oh, into yeah, there, hasn't he? Yeah, and it's quite narrow. Has quite he narrow. Has he actually been up in here yet? Has he actually tried it? <laughs> Me and you could be swapping. Got a nice little reading lamp. <laughs> and he's up. Oh, <laughs> pillow's falling out. Comfortable? Yeah. That's alright, you can. Nothing like trying the bed out on the morning before you leave. So Got we have. Yes. Dave on board. My passport. Definitely got your passport. <laughs> Check. Yes, I have. So we've made it to Portsmouth, which is a bit of a relief. Furthest, uh, how many miles of furthest have we been in that lorry since? Gloucester. Gloucester. Gloucester, so about what, 40 mile? Yeah. If that, so 
chuff that we've made it to Portsmouth, just gonna go and do the carne bit involved with that, obviously with the three bikes and all the tools and everything. So fingers crossed we've got all that right and we'll be allowed to go on the ferry. Next, the next See how we go. So just a quick update, we're 23 hours so far on the boat, um, yeah, a bit of a difficult one really because I don't really like to sit still for too long, nor I don't think Dad and Dave do either really, so, but the, the chill out is probably doing us good before the, the long drive tomorrow. So um, we're, we're due to arrive in Spain 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so we can get cracking with that. Um, We've got to get the carne signed off in the morning. The reason that we're stressing a little bit with the carne is just because there's been a few things changed. We've got a company involved that were writing it for us and they didn't really realise that we were doing a rally and then it changed and then it changed because of the value of the bikes. So there's been some swapping to and fro, but so far so good with that. So just need, yeah, like I say, need to find the customs office in the morning, get that signed off and then we can get cracking. Um, we've also realised that we've forgotten a couple of things to cook with. So um, at the moment, as we have planned, Craig is flying over and he was just going to fly over with a backpack because we have all of his luggage, all of his gear and luggage with us. But um, yeah, that might change. He might need a whole bag actually. We've, uh, we've forgotten a few things. So yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be able to update the vlog with, with Craig's view of it as well. So he might be uh, packing his bag a little bit bigger than we first thought so uh, but yeah all good so just gonna head for some food now early night uh, watch the rugby had a couple of beers there um, yeah up in the morning get cracking drive down through Spain so we're through customs about to start our journey down through Spain, we just banged it in the nav. We've got a coffee stop halfway, we're going all the way down. Music's on. There's the distance, 630 mile. So we are trucking on down through Spain now. We are around about 200k from Algeciras. We're gonna catch the ferry. We've made the decision now that we're gonna drive through the night and get down to Agadir in Awana. So it's currently, what's time? Eight o'clock, it's good. Eight o'clock at night. So we've, we've been on the road now for 12 hours. I don't know how many miles we've done, not a clue. But yeah, we'll keep it going. 580 since home, plus a bit. Yeah. Next ferry from Algeciras is 12, and the one after that is around 3 o'clock. So, so we're going to so gonna get through customs. Uh, yeah, more, more Spain, carne. Uh, the carne. Find the customs office to get the carne stamped. Uh, we're stamping the blue transit. Um, paperwork because we're going through Spain, we're transiting through yep. and then we get into Morocco and then we then import ourselves into Morocco so we'll have a chat with the customs to make sure they stamp the right paperwork. Um, if we could find customs open tonight at 12 o'clock, yeah, so we might, Sunday night. Yeah, we might be, yeah, it's Sunday so yeah, they might not even be open. No. We'll, um, yeah, we'll keep yeah, you updated. What is the case, maybe? Dave's uh, taking the helm at the minute. Andrew's, Andrew's done four hours. I've done the, four hours. So I'm in the baby seat. <laughs> the middle seat that he's made. Uh, it's all going good. Working like a dream. Catch you in a bit. So it is uh, Monday at quarter to seven. Uh, we left home on Friday at just gone 12. So we've just arrived here in Agadir. And there's a few competitors here already and some of the setups that we've seen 
are unbelievable. So, um, yeah, mega setup. Like, yeah, blow me away, really. But there's still more people to arrive. So we've um, we're here. Yeah. So we're gonna get set up now. We got. Um, So hopefully it's not affecting the camera too much. But this is um, this is going to be our setup. Just here, we'll get the awning out. So they've got basically they've got all the bikes all in one area, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So Craig will be on his way. He'll be with us tomorrow. We're going to get a little bit set up now, and all good. Nerves are kicking in now. First morning in camp. Dave's on the porridge. Cider or? Uh, yeah. Not apple, apple juice. Yeah. It's Craig's bike set up. Mine just tinkering. We'll walk around the pits in a bit. See what's going on. Dad's been floating around this one. Here he is, look. Absolute weapon. Really cool bits of kit here. So we've had a pretty t chill day today. Got the nav on mine and the era tracks all plugged in, all working, which is good. What have you been doing today, today, Dave? Uh, mostly sleeping. Sleeping right? today, yeah. bless him. He's been really tired. Craig's arrived. Yep. He's here. Dad's been on the laptop doing something, shaking his head. <laughs> He's just to pieces. Oh, I got your so we haven't done anything with Craig's bike because we wanted Craig to go for it really so that he can see how it's been done. It shouldn't take us too long because we've done it all on mine. So we'll probably spend tonight just um, get his nav all sorted. And then I think the plan is to go for a spin in the morning and have a quick go at it all and see if it all works and see if all the kit fits and all that. So busy old place here at the minute. Cars coming in and out, mega. Red Bull. Unreal scenes here. This is where all the admin happens here, so it starts there. You get your license checked, your passport checked, driving license checked, and then you go through into more checks in another office, and then you get an hour and a half to get your bike to scrutineer in to go through all of those checks as well. So this is where all the paperwork begins. We're a little bit nervous that we've hopefully we haven't forgotten anything, so We'll see though, we'll keep you posted. Craig's at the van just fettling with the bikes because his, funnily, his sign on is tomorrow. So um, yeah, mine's today's is tomorrow. So we'll see how we go, it should be all good. So got through uh, technical admin and everything and scrutineering yesterday, so I'm all good. There were a couple of little issues on the bike. So the organizers test all the safety systems and everything through scrutineering and one issue that they picked up on was that I wasn't receiving anything into my era track which is the safety system but we have changed from dad's mounts that he made unfortunately uh, the cables weren't lining up in the back there so we swapped to the KTM ones uh, and I think I knocked that little clip out of there that just pulls out of there so they tested it all and um, they found that that was unplugged so that was good nice easy fix Went through all um, all the checks, so you get uh, the frame number gets stamped, the engine gets stamped. Um, yeah, you get a little sticker on the screen to say that you've been through admin checks. Stickers are on, so my bike is pretty much ready to go. You've got your, oh, it was a nightmare with uh, timings last night. So you got yours at half. Mine's at 4.30. 4.30. I yeah, thought so. mine was at 4.30 yesterday. Went down too early, and then uh, it turns out yeah, mine was at six. So what are you uh, what are you prepping here then? Um, so I'm just trying to find somewhere where to put a clutch disc. So we've got a steel here somewhere. 
box over here. There it is. So yeah, we've got this steel here. So if we wear the clutch out, we can, for an emergency, we can drop this in the engine. Um, but we've got to try and find somewhere on the bike where it's not going to get bent and where it's out the way. So we yeah. can fit that in our toolbox. So we've got to try and put it somewhere somewhere nice and safe and easy accessible as well so we can just pull over and just grab it straight out put it put it in and just get going again yeah and just doing a few other little bits really um, I've noticed this morning that the um, one of my bolts fell out my roadbook remote there noticed that Carl's were loose as well so we've I've had to put some different bolts in mine and lock tight them I've done the same with Carl so yeah I'm just going through some little bits and pieces now just to make sure I'm Nice and comfortable on the bike. I think we're going to go through the, the settings of the suspension today, aren't we? Just yeah, sure it's all yeah we'll just check that. Check the race sag, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, happy days. Nice. So, we try and cram on as much as we can on, on the bike. So, we've got the first aid kit that's tucked underneath the nav screen, and in there is all of our first aid equipment. But I've also got a energy gel, a bar, a bag of Haribo sweets and some hydration sachets. Um, under there is sausages and beans in a warm up meal that we'll just we'll have cold um, or relatively warm. Under here we have got uh, some spares. So I've got in this one levers, gear lever, uh, bolts, metal putty, a few other bits and bobs. And then under here, we've got the motor hands, a tool roll, a few little additions, a chain tool, and then some other spanners all covered in, just in a tube, just to stop it from rattling around in there and marking anything. Even to the point where we have wrapped the clutch plate in inner tube and then zip tied that to the frame as well. So yeah, trying to keep, take as much as we can with us, but keeping it on the bike. Hi guys, so we've just got to the start of the, uh, what's this area called? Shakedown. Yeah, so we've just got to the start of the shakedown. Nice little 25k ride on the road. As you can see, it's really not here today. Um, but I'm just going to show you a few of these vehicles that are just pulling up now behind us. They're, they're amazing vehicles. Um, we feel very, very overwhelmed here. Um, a bit out of our depth so but it's it's an amazing experience so far just to see these vehicles so I'll just spin it round just so you guys can see. So yeah it's a fair bit going on here yeah, we've got a lot of vehicles kicking round we've got some can ams and some other little cars and stuff like that so very very busy here listen to this thing tick over Look at this, we're organised. No mess in here, Dave. So yesterday we went out on a shakedown. Uh, the the organisers give you like a little tiny road book. It was like 25k out yeah. there and then a little 10k loop. Didn't really know what to expect, did we? Oh, we were blown away when we arrived. Yeah, we pulled away from Agadir Stadium, got down there. And when we pulled up at the start line for the, the test stage, you're pulling up with like massive trucks and buggy oh, can -ams, yeah. can -ams. the noise down there was incredible and it was just like it's almost like a bit overwhelming wasn't it yeah, like, oh, definitely, yeah. 
It, it was an experience itself, really. Yeah, it? just pulling up and just thinking, Jesus, we're going to have to now start. And it was all mixed, so, you know, we could be starting and then we've got one of the big, massive race trucks literally behind us. So, yeah, um, it was good though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good to get it out of the way, really. Yeah. Get, like, the, the nerves and the, you know, the, the pre-race kind of jitters in your belly. Yeah. That helped us a lot, I reckon. Yeah, yeah and just, like getting dialed in with the bike and, cause it's yeah. like, we've not ridden the bike sort of in anger or like, you know. It's the first time that we rode them in sand. Yeah, first time we've been on big bikes yeah. in sand or, or in that type of sand, actually. Yeah also it was good though yeah it was, in, it was awesome yeah it was so good fresh, fresh they call it, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah bouncing off the sand and we rode it so i set off first and then pulled up um and then craig pulled in with us and then we did we did two laps then pretty much together and it was like both riding at a reasonable well what we thought was a reasonable pace comfortable so we think riding in the sand we should be pretty good to be fair just next to each other and yeah it should be fairly easy on that front yeah and the, the road book as well there's there's a lot of, when we got there we started looking at the tulips and it was like it was one kilometer two, 2 kilometers 0.3 kilometers 0.4 they were like there was, was six tulips within I couldn't believe half it. a kilometer and yeah. it was like whoa the road yeah. book opened up when we pulled up and then you can click down through it on the ele electronic road book and it I, it blew my mind i was like oh my what are we yeah you know, like I can't believe how fast it was coming at us, but it kind of makes sense when you yeah. like yeah. you have to look at it, and it kind of forces you to use it. So it was good, really good. Yeah. So we're pretty much chilling out today, really, just fettling about, and then tomorrow it's prologue and away to go. Yeah, we've got a few bits this evening. Have we got a, a meeting tonight? Have we got a, a oh yeah a briefing pre briefing? Yeah, we'll have a briefing. Um, we've got a photographer that's helping us as well. So he wants to take a couple of shots while the sun's going down on the team and the bikes. So that'd be good. Yeah, other than that, chill out, yeah. hydrate. So hot here. I think we've just recorded like 39 degrees. So, um, I think what, we drank like eight liters of water yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I did at least eight liters of water and that's, I wouldn't do that normally in a week at home. So yeah, but yeah, all good. Catch you in a bit. See you in a bit. So it's, it's, so it's quarter past 11 on Thursday. So we've nearly been out, well, we've nearly been on the road over a week now. Um, we've just been to arrive at uh, the rider briefing down in a hotel down in Agadir on the coast. So that's all done. Uh, so it's, that's it now. The rally starts tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So we've got a prologue day tomorrow, which is sort of the, the qualifying. Yeah. I'm out first. Yeah. You know, my time's 8.26, yours is 8.41. Yeah. Something like that. Um, but yeah, as Carl said, the bikes are all ready. Um, yeah. We're all loaded up with our medical supplies and survival equipment and yeah. set back yeah. canisters. It's it's all getting a bit real now. Yeah. It all starts tomorrow morning at 8.30. I think we're, it's an early start. Yeah. A, probably a 6 a.m. start, I think. Dave will be on the porridge, I'm sure. On the porridge and coffees. Yeah. So this is the end of this vlog. Um, we're going to do a different vlog for the actual rally. So we're, we've got the GoPros mounted on the side of the bikes there. So we're going to try and get some onboard footage. Yeah. Um, but we've just got to try and work out a bit of a plan how we can ride together. So it's. Yeah. I might have to stop somewhere for 10 minutes just to, so Carl can catch up and then we can get rolling again there. Yeah, the plan's always been that we're going to ride together, so we want to try and get that done, but it's just working out. At the moment, I think we'll probably just get our heads on, getting through what we need to get through, and then see how it works out, really. But, yeah, so thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks to everyone that's been dropping us messages as well while we've been out here. The sport's been unreal. So, yeah, we'll catch you in part two of the Rally de Maroc vlog.